So we're going to be doing an assembly video for this trap bar. This is each piece that came out right out of the box. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six pieces here. And then it comes with these washers, screws, and everything like that. Taking a look at the instructions here, it looks like there's going to be just only two steps. So going to be really easy. Something that's not included is a wrench. So I have my own uh, wrench here. But other than that, everything in this video came out of the box. Okay, it looks like step one, we're going to be... Uh, connecting uh, these two pieces with the pieces that's actually going to be pretty much the leg of the hex bar so I'm just gonna get these pieces here taking a look at the instructions here so I'm gonna be using uh, the six bolts here I'm gonna be taken out from the bottom okay two there and two here I need two for each bolt so four pieces total each and then gonna get my my nuts here, two here, and two here. So first we're going to be using uh, the end holes here. So we're going to be fastening this part to uh, this like that on both sides. So I'm just going to get a washer, feed it through like that, and then put it through on this side. Okay, feed it through like that. Going to have that resting on there. Okay, and then we'll put a washer here, screw this in by hand here on this side, just to have it in there. Obviously, we're going to tighten it with a wrench. Okay, so it's going to be tightening this here. I'm not going to tighten it all the way, just so that I still have some room just to uh, move it around, because got to make sure that this hole is aligned as well. Might as well just do the opposite side here just so I have it able to stand. So I'm going to do the same with this side. Put a washer through and then feed it through like so. Okay, feed it through that part. I'm going to send a washer through. Screw it in by hand just a little bit. Again, not going to screw it the entire way. So now I'm going to flip this bar around. Just gonna have it like that. Now we're gonna put this on here. Again, we're just gonna be using the hole that's closer to the outer part. We're saving the two inner holes uh, to actually install that part there that holds the weight. Get my screw ready, washer, fed it through like that. Washer, and screw it a little bit. And I'm just gonna do the other side just really quickly. Washer through here, get it through like that. And washer, hand screw. Okay, gonna hold that in place. It's pretty much lined up with the hole that I need it to be. Not gonna make it all the way tight like I mentioned earlier. Give myself some wiggle room at the same time, just making sure it's uh, tight enough. Do the same to the other side. Just gonna make sure that's lined up there to be able to use that hole in the middle. Tight enough that I could just kind of sit there by itself. Okay, so now we have this portion done. Next, we're gonna use the two inner holes on both sides to uh, hold these two pieces. It's just gonna sit on there like this, just the piece that's actually gonna be holding the weight, so we definitely want uh, that secure. So we're gonna be using the next set, and two of these on each side, two of those there, two of those there, and then four washers total. Okay, so pretty much just the uh, same as before. I'm gonna be putting washers through like that, and just feeding it through like so. Okay, as you can see, it fed through on this side here. Sending the washer through and screwing it once again. Let's do the same here. Washer through, sliding that in here, putting that through like that, and hand screwing this as well. All right, there we go. And obviously, you're gonna wanna make sure that these are as tight as can be at this point, because this is gonna be the thing that's supporting uh, your weights. So let's make sure it's extra tight, as tight as can be for me. Holding on to that. Making sure that's as tight as can be. It's looking pretty solid to me. And while I'm here, I'm gonna be tightening the rest of them as well. Going back over to here, and we're gonna be tightening this side also. There we go. Okay. So yes, that is very nice and firm. Okay. So we're gonna do the same to the opposite side. So this is what's gonna look like on this side. So. 
Uh, like I said, we did the outside first and then screwed in the, use the two inside holes to screw the part that holds the weight. Again, screw and then washer. I'm just gonna do it like this. Feed it through. There we go. Washer, hand screw. Last one, hit washer. Feed it through hole. Make sure it comes out other hole. Washer, hand screw, and then we're gonna tighten it. Moving on to the last one here. Yeah, and then after this one, we're gonna tighten all of them once again, and we should be done. Okay, like I said, I still just wanna run through all of them and make sure that they're as tight as can be. But overall, assembly was pretty easy. Just um, six ind individual pieces. And then you just pretty much just have to ins install, what, like eight, eight screws, use washers, tighten them. Super easy and didn't take me so long. So I would highly recommend this.